I, I did a lot of counseling work with people who were, coaching work, I guess, with people who were fairly spectacularly successful, and they were usually workaholics. You know, they're the sort of people that were, like, they'd work 80 hours a week, just nonstop. That's just what they were like. And one of the things we were always trying to figure out was, well, how much should you work? Because one answer is you just work till you die, right? I mean, you just exhaust yourself. And, well, that's not, that's not a good idea. And, and then you have to figure out why that isn't a good idea. It's got to be something like this, is that you don't want to do so much work that the amount of work you do interferes with the amount of work that you could still do, right? Because if you work like mad for two weeks and then you, you, like, you have to lie in a hospital bed for a month, that obviously isn't very productive. So you have to figure out how much you can work diligently and then how much you have to recuperate so that you can get back up and work again. And, you know, that's people have basically settled on something like this and given it the divine imprimatur. That, that's one way of thinking about it, which is, well, you can toil away for six days and no wonder because you have to work, but you should rest at least one day out of seven because otherwise, well, you don't appreciate life, that might be part of it. And, and plus, I think it's more a matter of iterab iterability. You know, because one of the things that defines morality is the capacity to repeat something, right? So if something is properly structured in a moral manner, then you can do it over and over and over again without any degeneration. And so that's kind of like a relationship. If, if your relationship is negotiated, you can continue to negotiate it, and then you can have a relationship that lasts for a long time. You can do it today and next week and next month and next year. You can maintain it across time. And this, I would say, is the wisdom that's been, associated, that's been garnered over God only knows what period of time to say, well, look, I mean, even God needed to take a break and appreciate what was going on, and it's not such a bad thing for people to follow that, that pattern. And that's a good thing for modern people to know because we seem to be, even though, you know, we're very wealthy by historical standards, our capacity to relax isn't exactly what it could be, and I think that's really hard on people.